welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you these four easy jumbo box braid methods so if you guys want to see how i achieve these looks please continue watching <laughs> My hair is already washed and moisturized. I'm going to be using my rat tail comb, my shining jam, my yarn. Yes, we're using yarn instead of rubber band sis, and as well as my scrunchies to achieve this look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sectioning my hair from ear to ear, just a straight line, exactly the way I'm doing. I'm going to make sure the line is really nice and clean on the front right there. All right, guys, so once I section my hair from ear to ear, I'm going to start working with the front first. So I'm going to section my line from my temple all the way to the middle right there, exactly the way I'm doing. So I'm just going to use my scrunchie to hold the hair just so, you know, I don't have to work twice. My hair is really thick, as you guys can see. I don't pre-section my hair. I'm going to have to be working twice, it's okay? I have about eight sections in my hair, so I'm going to have eight braids. This is the easiest time of braids that you can ever do. This when I tell you, it took me an hour to get myself all together, so you better believe it. You're about to be looking cute. So I'm going to section one line in between my back, exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to section three lines in the middle as well. So together, I I have a section sis okay so it doesn't have to be like really nice and straight or whatever it just has to be nice and decent you know what i'm saying you want to make sure the lines in the front are really nice and straight that way it looks cute well, i was still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes sis <laughs> So I'm going to be sectioning out the little yarn string that I'm about to use for one section. So this is the amount of yarn. You just got to make sure it's nice and long. I'm going to take my shining jam and then apply it to my hair just to make sure the line is really nice and clean or whatever. And then I'm just going to take my baby hairs out of the way too, just so you know, I look all the way cute, <laughs> period. And then I'm just going to take my shining jam and apply it to the remaining of the hair just to make sure my scalp is really nice and clean. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna take my yarn, okay? The yarn that I sectioned out, I'm just gonna make sure uh, I have a, uh, a little piece on the top right there, and then the longer piece is on the bottom. And then I'm just going to start going round like I'm doing a knot or something like that. You know, I'm just gonna go round in a circular kind of motion, just exactly the way I'm doing. So just make sure you're nice and snug on the bottom, but not way too tight that you're gonna give yourself a headache or anything like that. As you guys can see, once I let it go, it is not going anywhere, it is not unraveled. So you're just going to take the little piece on the top and then you're going to go on the opposite direction and just tie a little knot, sis. Okay, so that's all you're going to do. And then you're going to cut the excess yarn using your scissors. Very, very easy. Very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. All right, so I'm going to be using this 3X free trace braid this is 68 inches and i'm using two and a half packs for this look so it comes three in a pack so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take um the hair out exactly the way i'm doing take the little rubber band that it comes with off and then i'm just going to take my scrunchie and secure the hair so i'm using one little piece for one braid okay sis and then once i do that i'm just going to um separate my hair into two and give it a little tug that way i'm really nice and snug or whatever and then i'm taking a little bit more of the shine and jam and applying to the rest of my hair on the top anyway so i'm just going to take the braid and i'm going to place it on my hair okay so i'm going to be securing that little scrunchie like three or four times that way it is nice and secure and then once I flip it down, okay, I'm just going to take a little piece from the braiding here just to make sure I'm giving myself a little nice snug situation. That way I give myself a little base on the braid, sis, okay? Because you don't want your braid to be moving around. You want it to be really nice and secure. I'm going to be sectioning the braiding here into three, exactly the way I'm doing. I'm just gonna take my natural hair and put it in the middle strand, okay? So I'm tucking it in the middle strand and then I'm just gonna start braiding down. Exactly the way I'm saying, sis. Very, very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. When I tell you this is easy peasy lemon squeezy, you better believe it, cause sister, anybody can actually do this. You can do this on your daughter. You can do this on your mom. You can do this on anybody. I wanted to give you some easy summer styles that you can do an hour and you are out the door. <laughs> 
today's shout out goes to all my subscribers thank you guys so so much for subscribing thank you for rocking with me thank you for all the love i really really appreciate you you guys are the real mvps i am nothing without you thank you from the bottom of my heart <laughs>get to where I want the braid to stop I'm just gonna take a little piece from the side and then I'm tying and not like four or five times because the braid is big okay because it is thick you want to make sure you are securing really really well so at least four or five times it is going to be nice and secure so I'm going to show you guys again so you're going to take your shine and jump apply it to your hair going to take your yarn place it on the hair make sure you have the shorter piece on the top and then the longer piece on the bottom and then you're just going to start going around like you're tying a little knot make sure you're giving yourself a really nice base a nice grip and then you're going to go around like four or five times once you do that you're going to take the other piece of the yarn and then you're just going to secure those together tying a little knot that way it does not unravel that way you don't have to work twice just gonna take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply it to your hair okay so I'm taking the piece and then I'm using the um the scrunchie to secure it placing it on my head and then just using the scrunchie to secure it like three four times that way it is really nice and snug okay and then because this is a bigger piece of the braiding hair I want to make sure it is nice and secure it is not moving when I'm braiding down I'm just gonna take a little piece of the braiding hair from the side and go round like two three times just to make sure it is nice and secure <laughs> So I'm going to be sectioning the braiding hair into three, making sure I'm using the middle piece to tuck in my natural hair. And then I'm just gonna start braiding down exactly the way I'm saying, very, very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can do this. And when I tell you it is easy, you can already hear it from my voice. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> If you have not been able to do any of my tutorials, you better believe this one is easy, okay? And I wanted to do something easy for summer, something quick that you can just rock and you are out the door. These summer vacations are about to be lit, lit. <laughs> to where I want the braid to stop I'm just gonna take a little piece of the braiding hair and then tie a little knot securing it making sure I'm securing four or five times once I cut it it does not unravel this okay I'm going to show you guys again so you're going to take your shine and jump apply it to your hair I'm going to make sure you know your, your scalp is really nice and clean or whatever you're going to be taking your yarn placing it to your hair making sure you have a, a shorter piece on the top right there and then you have the longer piece on the bottom and then you're just going to start going round making sure it is nice and snug on the bottom but not way too tight that you're giving yourself a headache you're going to be taking the smaller piece of the yarn on the top and then combining that with the bigger piece of the yarn and then just tying a little knot that way it is nice and secure that way you don't have to work twice and then you're gonna cut the excess yarn using your scissors. And then I'm taking a little bit more of the shine and jam and applying to the rest of my hair on the top. That way it is really nice and sleek. It's gonna take the braid and I'm going to place it on my hair, okay? So I'm going to be securing that little scrunchie like three or four times, that way it is nice and secure. And then once I flip it down, I'm just gonna take a little piece from the braiding hair just to make sure I'm giving myself a little nice snug situation. That way I give myself a little base on the braid, sis, okay? I'm going to be sectioning the braiding hair into three, exactly the way I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my natural hair and put it in the middle strand okay and then I'm just gonna start braiding down exactly the way I'm saying sis very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this this is for my sisters who cannot use rubber bands who are afraid to use rubber bands because they break their hair or they just don't want to use rubber bands they want to try using something else <laughs> once I get to where I want the braid to stop I'm just gonna take a little piece from the side and then tie a little knot so just a little piece exactly the way I'm doing right there and then I'm tying a knot like four or five times make sure you are securing really really well so at least four or five times it is going to be nice and secure and once you let it go it is not going to unravel this <laughs> gonna 
take my Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure I lay these baby hairs using the brush that I got from where? Amazon. You already know what it is by now, okay? And then I'm going to be using my styling strips just to make sure everything is nice and situated. using this lid pouring it some water because i want to be able to touch the braid once i start burning it okay so i'm going to be using this lighter so i'm just going to start cutting the hair on the bottom where i have the knot tied okay so i'm going to go down a little bit so once i do that i'm just going to take my lighter and then i'm going to start burning the ends okay just make sure you are very very careful because you do not want to burn yourself sis so i'm just going to be holding a little bit of the water to make sure you know i don't burn my fingers okay that's the whole point Baby, when I tell you these braids came all the way through, yes, I am loving this jumbo bob braids. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this technique right here. And you know me, I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories. So I'm going to be adding this gold accessories, okay? I'm going to be adding it at the end where I have the little knot. And baby, when I tell you, it took the style all the way to boom, 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 100. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. Let me know if this is a hot summer style or whatever. Because I am feeling these braids right about now, sis. Okay. You know me. I gotta give you a little styles here and there. Just put these braids up in a bun and then left one down. Just to make sure I'm giving myself a little um bum bum um boom. Okay. <laughs> this is easy this is so beginner friendly i mean i want my sisters to be able to do this in the summer and we are out at the door okay it's gonna pull all the braids up and baby when i tell you i am filling myself and using the little bobby pins just to make sure i secure this okay <laughs> my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my rattle comb my shining jam my rubber bands and my 100 percent acrylic brazilian yarn okay so this is how the yarn comes it comes to in a pack and i am using four packs sis. and when i tell you this is light anyway so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing I'm just gonna take my scrunchie and secure the hair in the back and then I'm going to start working with the front first so I'm just gonna section my hair into three eco pieces so just straight lines from the temple of my head so once I'm done I'm just gonna take my rubber band and secure the hair and then that same rubber band I'm going to be using for this style so I'm just using the rubber bands right now to hold my hair because you know I don't want to be working twice I love to pre-section my hair that way I know how much hair I'm working with I'm just gonna section another line you know another straight line all the way from ear to ear all the way to the other side and then I'm going to section that into three so the middle piece is gonna have three sections as well and then in the back I'm just going to section the hair into two if you struggle at sectioning just try to go with the front line exactly the way you did with the front section and then you're going to be all right and once I section those three on the top I'm just gonna take my rubber band and secure my hair you know I'm going to do exactly the same way I did with the three Three on the top so the last section I'm going to have two pieces okay so I wanted to do jumbo braids because listen we want to do something that is quick that is 30 minutes and you are out of the door okay so once I'm done sectioning my hair as you guys can see I have eight sections okay so i'm going to have eight braids this takes me an hour to do both sectioning and braiding it might take you guys a longer time than i do don't worry about the time just make sure you're getting it right sis okay this is how i measure the hair okay so i'm just measuring how much i'm going to use and then i'm going to cut the ends that way you know i have nice eco ends on each side and then as I told you guys, I'm going to be doing shoulder length. So you don't have to make them too long. And I decided I'm gonna do big braids, so jumbo braids. So I'm taking three pieces for the smaller piece. So I'm gonna be using six pieces for the bigger piece. And when I look them around, I will have eco sides, okay? Just make sure you measure how big you want your braids to be. And then once you measure one, just make sure you set it on the side. And then you can use that to measure the rest of the braids. Hey, hey. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my clips and just make sure the rest of the hair is put away or whatever. I'm going to take the rubber band off. 
pull my baby hairs out that way i have something to work with when i'm done sis then you're going to take your shine and jam apply it to your natural hair making sure it is nice and sleek or whatever and then you're going to section your hair into two i'm just going to make sure when i loop it around it has three equal pieces just exactly how you're about to do a traditional box braid sis okay taking the smaller piece of the yarn placing it in between your natural hair and then taking the rubber band that you were using to secure your natural hair with okay and use that to secure the hair make sure you're tying that like four or five times that way it is nice and secure but not way too tight that you're trying to give yourself a headache just gonna section your hair into two and then give it a little tug that way it is really nice and snug anyway so once you do that you're just gonna take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply it to the remaining of your natural hair and then you're going to section that into three and just give yourself a basic braid so you're just gonna braid your natural hair that way it is easy to tuck in once you try to tuck the hair in it is not hard it is not giving you any trouble it is just looking right sis Okay, so once I do that, I'm just going to flip the hair back, the yarn back, okay? So I'm just going to call it braiding hair at this point, okay? As you guys can see, it is already nice and hiding my natural hair. Once you do that, you're just going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair, the bigger piece of the yarn, sis, okay? And then just place it on top exactly the way I'm doing. Just make sure you're giving a really good grip on the base right there. And then you're just going to start braiding down, sis. Just make sure it is nice and tight once you start braiding down, and that's about it anyway so that's all you're gonna do and i love these big braids because sis who wants to spend uh three hours trying to do some hair you can do this hair on your daughter on your mama on your sister on yourself i mean it is easier doing it on somebody else but i wanted to show my sisters who want to do hair by themselves i want everybody to learn how to do hair by themselves and if you're having trouble doing it on yourself you can do it on your daughter sis i mean i'm just giving you these techniques right here that way your life is easy i want everybody to be looking cute in the streets period and then once you get to where you want the braid to stop you are just going to take another rubber band and secure it that's what i've been doing and listen don't worry about the rubber band we're about to do another trick at the end okay and especially if you're using the same type color hair like if i was using black i wouldn't mind about this rubber band at all but i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do to make sure the rubber band does not show so i'm going to show you guys again so you're going to do the same exact technique you're going to take your shine and jam apply it to your natural hair making sure it is nice and sleek or whatever and then you're going to section your hair into two take the smaller piece of the yarn place it in between your natural hair and then take the rubber band that was used to secure your natural hair and then use that to secure your hair again make sure you're tying that like four or five times that way it is nice and secure but not way too tight that you're trying to give yourself a headache or you know trying to break your natural hair sis or anything like that you're just gonna section your hair into two and then give it a little tug that way it is really nice and snug you know your grip game looks really really good sis okay apply the shine and jam and then you're going to section that into three so this is for my sisters who want to make sure your tucking game is good and you are not having any type of hair showing or anything like that very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this but why am i still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes sis hey, hey. Today's shout out goes to each and every one of my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for working with me. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. If you don't want to use the rubber band because you don't have any of the accessories to use once you're done, don't worry. You can just take a little piece of the braiding hair, of the yarn from the side, and then use that to tie a little knot. So I'm just going to tie like twice and just make sure i'm nice and secure take your shine and jam 
apply it to your natural hair, making sure it is nice and sleek or whatever. And then you're going to section your hair into two, taking the smaller piece of the yarn, placing it in between your natural hair, and then taking the rubber band that you were using to secure your natural hair with, okay? And use that to secure the hair. Make sure you're tying that like four or five times. That way it is nice and secure, but not way too tight that you're trying to give yourself a headache or, you know, trying to break your natural hair assist or anything like that. If you're using the same color hair, you don't have to do this technique right here. You can actually just use a little bit more of the shine and jam and that's about it, sis, okay? What you're gonna do is you're going to flip the hair back and then you're going to make sure you take the bigger piece of the braiding hair, place it on the top, and then just start braiding down. And I tell you, this is the easiest technique that you ever do of box braids, believe me. Try this, sis. Don't be like, oh no, I don't think I can do it. You cannot say you can't do it until you try it, sis, okay? Give it a try a couple times and you will be able to do this braid, sis. I'm telling you, they are easy. If I can do it, you can do it too. And then once you get to where you want the braid to stop, you are just going to take another rubber band and secure it. Anyway, sis, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause this video real quick for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, sis. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you do not miss out on any uploads, sis, because you wanna make sure you're the first person to get these tutorials. And you know what? Once you get these tutorials, you get your hair done, send it to your best friend, send it to your mama. That way they also look cute in the streets, sis. Don't be stingy, okay? <laughs> So I'm going to take the smaller piece of the yarn and then place it in between my natural hair. And then I'm going to take my rubber band. So the same rubber band that I was using to hold my hair, I'm going to secure my natural hair with, making sure I secure about four or five times. That way it is nice and snug. And this is the easiest box braid method that you ever want to do, sis, because listen, once you do this technique right here, you're never going back to the traditional braids. Come on, sis. You're just going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair, the bigger piece of the yarn, sis, okay? And then just place it on top exactly the way I'm doing just make sure you're giving a really good grip on the base right there and then you're just gonna start braiding down sis just make sure it is nice and tight once you start braiding down and that's about it and then once you get to where you want the braid to stop you are just going to take another rubber band and secure it I'm just gonna take my kiss edge fixer and make sure I lay these baby hairs is okay so we're gonna be laying these baby hairs using the brush that I got from where Amazon you already know what it is right now okay and I'm going to be using my styling strip just to make sure everything is nice and laid and you already know I want to make sure my braids are nice and situated so I'm just gonna be using this scarf and this is our scarves all right see so my makeup is done or whatever so I'm just gonna make sure I accessorize this style what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this gold large accessory and baby when I tell you these braids came all the way through I am living for this jumbo Brazilian yarn box braid, sis. I am loving them. I think they're so cute. I look cute or whatever, sis. I am feeling myself right about now. I feel like I have nothing on my head, sis. I feel so light. I can run. I can do whatever. And you know, I cannot just give you one style. I gotta give you another option. You can actually rock them in a style like this. You can actually put them up and use some bobby pins to say cure, sis. And look, sis, look at this style right here. You can actually rock this to work. You can actually do a whole lot with this braids. And I love the fact that you can let them down and they look cute and you can rock them up and they also look cute. It doesn't have to be long braids that you gotta put them up, sis. Oh, oh, oh. guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my rattle comb my shine and jam my yarn yes we're using yarn today instead of rubber band sis and my expression hair to achieve this look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing okay and then once i'm done i'm just going to secure the hair in the back and i'm going to start working with the front first i'm going to take my rattle comb again and then section my hair in the middle exactly the way I'm doing taking my shine and jump applying it to the center right there just to make sure the line
design is really nice and clean and sleek or whatever i'm going to be securing all four sections with the scrunchie just so you know i know how many sections i'm working with so together i have four section sis then i'm just going to go from the section where i have in the front right there i'm just going to go down and then section the back as well I'm going to start working with one box at a time as you guys can see i have four sections all together i'm just going to pull out my baby hairs in the front that way when i'm done we're looking cute out here in the streets i'm just going to take my yarn and then i'm just going to take out a section okay so i'm just going to measure how much i want to use and then just use your scissors to cut it and you guys are going to see how we're going to be using this yarn okay Anyway, so once I do that, I'm just going to take my shine and jam and applying it to my natural hair. As you guys can see, my natural hair is really thick. So what I do is I go into little sections as well, just to make sure, you know, the slickness is really nice and, you know, juicy. So that, you know, I don't have any lumps or bumps or whatever in between all right so if you have thick hair like me sis this is the technique that you want to do just make sure you go into sections and make sure you're slicking this whole section down period and once i'm done i'm just going to take my yarn and then you know i have a little piece on the top right there and then i'm just going to start going around exactly the way i'm doing one little piece on the top and then the other one i'm just going to start going around making sure i'm going really nice and tight but not way too tight that you're going to give yourself a headache sis and then once you're done you're just going to take those little two pieces and then tie that into a little knot and then once i'm done i'm just going to cut the remaining of the yarn off i'm going to take the shine and jam and apply it to the yarn you know and just slick it down to my natural hair that way it is really nice and sleek take the braiding hair out of the pack so i'm going to take it exactly the way it comes it does come with the rubber band secure to it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to flip the hair on the other side of my head exactly the way i'm doing so i'm just going to secure the hair on my head using the same rubber band that it comes with so i'm going to secure it about four or five five times and then once i'm done i'm just going to section my natural hair into two and then give it a little tug take a little bit more of the shine and jam and apply it to these little two sections of my natural hair that i have separated sis and i'm just going to leave this alone because you know i'm going to have two braids so i'm going to have one one piece of the natural hair with one braid and then the other piece with the other braid i'm going to section out a little piece of the braiding hair from one of the sections and then place it on top of my head because we're going to be using that later on sis and then i'm going to take half of the braiding hair and secure it to the back that way i only have one section to work with okay sis so that's all i'm doing right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to section the hair into three like i'm trying to do a traditional braid and then i'm going to take my natural hair and just secure it with one of the sections right just make sure you secure your natural hair inside the braiding hair and then start braiding all the way down exactly the way i'm doing very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this but while i was still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes sis Today's shout out goes to each and every one of my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Let's get to 1 million subscribers because baby, at this point, it is up from here. But make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt. Once I get to the end of the braid, I'm just going to take a little piece and tie that into a knot about twice. And that way it is nice and secure. That way it does not unravel. Anyway, so once I'm done with the first one, I'm just going to go and take the hair clip out and then do the second braid. So I have two braids, so I only have one little piece on the top right there. Anyway, so I'm just going to take out the little piece of the braiding hair, you know, another little section of the braiding hair from the hair right here and then place it on the top. So together I have two little sections and there are are going to be combined and we're going to do something something that way you know it looks like miss tupo knows what she's doing okay <laughs> and then i'm going to section the braiding hair into three like i'm about to do a traditional braid and then i'm going to take my natural hair and tuck it into one of the pieces of the braiding hair sis and then just start braiding down when i tell you this is easy you better believe me when i tell you a beginner can actually do this when i tell you if you have never done braids in your life you better try this tutorial right here. You better try this technique right here because baby, when I tell you, it is going to come all the way through. And I mean this, when I tell you, I vouch for this style right here, okay? I vouch for it. And you can actually do this on your sister, on your mama. You can do this on anybody and it is going to come all the way through, period. 
And then the little piece that I had secured on the head, so from both sides, I had two little pieces, right, on top right there. I'm just going to combine those. I'm just gonna use my brush, you know, and brush the hair, okay, the braiding hair. And then I'm going to start going around making sure I'm giving this a little grip, okay? This is just to make sure my braid is nice and secure. This is to make sure my braid looks good. This is to make sure the braid looks natural as possible, okay? Then we're going to do the other braid. So exactly the same thing, sis. I'm just gonna take my shine and jump, apply it to my natural hair, making sure it is really nice and sleek. Sectioning my hair into little sections as I go along. That way my hair does not look bulky. That way my hair looks really nice and sleek. Cause you know my 4C hair is a little harder to slick down. So just make sure you're going into sections as you're slicking down, sis. And then you're going to section out a little piece of the yarn again, and then place it on the head. You wanna keep a little piece on the top part right there and then start going round, making sure you're going nice and tight, but not way too tight that you're going to give yourself a headache or break your natural hair. And then once you're done, you're just gonna take those little two pieces and then tie that into a little knot. That way, you know, it is nice and secure. You can actually tie it twice. You're just gonna take your scissors and cut the excess yarn away and take my shine and jam and make sure I am gelling it down. You know, I'm slicking down my yarn with my natural hair. That way it does not show once I'm braiding down. And then I'm going to do the same exact technique. I'm just going to take my braiding hair, place it on my head on the opposite side. And then I'm going to, you know, secure it with the rubber band that it comes with, you know, four or five times. That way it is nice and secure. Section my hair into two, give it a little tug and take my shine and jam and apply it to both pieces of my natural hair. I'm just going to flip the braiding hair down, section the hair into two, two equal pieces, right? I'm just gonna take my hair clip and secure one piece all the way to the back right there. I'm going to section out a little piece of the braiding hair placing it on my head exactly the way i'm doing sectioning the braiding hair into three using one of the pieces of the braiding hair to tuck in my natural hair and then start braiding down sis okay so that is all i'm doing right there very very simple very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this sure you share my videos sis, so they can actually do these tutorials as well okay they can actually learn how to braid style and do a whole lot with their natural hair because baby there's so many occasions that you want to go to and sometimes you just don't know what to do better make sure you check out all these videos right here because i have a whole lot of videos that you guys can check out and look cute baby i'm just gonna take a little piece of the braiding hair and go around and tie this into a little knot that way you know the hair does not unravel i'm actually going to tie it twice because i do not want this you know to unravel or anything i want to work once and that's about it <laughs> section out a little piece of the braiding hair and place it on the top exactly the way I did with the other braid and then I'm going to section the braiding hair into three like I'm about to do a traditional braid and then I'm going to take my natural hair and tuck it into one of the pieces of the braiding hair sis and then just start braiding down when I tell you this is easy you better believe me baby we're trying to do this 30 minutes style and we are out where the door okay <laughs> this right here is easy you can actually do this and be done and be cute and you know people are gonna be looking at you like sister what are you doing who did this and you're gonna be like me yes me because i watched two for one's tutorials and once i get to the bottom i'm just going to take a little bit of the braiding here and then use this and tie a little knot i'm just going to use my brush you know and brush the hair okay the braiding hair and then i'm going to start going around making sure i'm giving this a little grip okay this is just to make sure my braid is nice and secure that is how you are going to make it look realistic like you know the braid is really nice and sleek or whatever so I'm going to do the third one and the fourth one exactly the same way. It is easy, sis. When I tell you, you can actually do the back as well. It is so easy. Oh my gosh. But make sure your natural hair is not showing. Your natural hair is out of the way. And I wanted to do this style because, baby, I love braids. And I just want to show you guys different ways that you can achieve box of braids. You don't have to do traditional braids all the time. You can actually do these tutorials right here, these techniques right here. And the braids are going to come all the way through, sis. Okay? That is all I'm I'm doing right here this technique right here is easy it is simple just gonna section the hair into two and give it a little tug that way it is nice and snug but not way too tight sis I keep on saying this because I don't want anybody saying Tupo I broke my natural hair because listen you told me to tie this hair too tight no sis we are trying to grow this hair we are not trying to break the hair so make sure it is tight but not way too tight that it's uncomfortable 
if you are going on a date wedding whatever you can actually find these styles on my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the notification bell as well sis take a little piece of the braiding hair from the corner of the braid and then use that and tie a little knot that way my braid does not unravel so I'm going to secure that about twice okay I'm going to section out a little piece of the braiding hair and place it on the top exactly the way I did with the other braid and then I'm going to section the braiding hair into three like I'm about to do a traditional braid and then just start braiding down when I tell you this is easy you better believe me when I tell you a beginner can actually do this if you have never done braids in your life you better try this tutorial right here you better try this technique right here all right, so once I'm done braiding all the way down, I'm just gonna take those two little pieces that I had secured on the top. I'm going to start going around on the braid just to make sure it is nice and tight. That is going to be like my little base, okay? That way it looks real. Once I'm done braiding, you already know I gotta take my scissors and cut all the flyaways, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my mousse and make sure everything is nice and laid, sis. You have to lay this hair down it should look really nice okay so together sis i have eight braids in my hair once i'm done with that i'm just gonna take my kiss edge fixer and make sure i lay these baby hairs using the brush that i got from where oh well, so you already know what it is by now once I'm done laying the baby hairs, I'm going to be using our silk scarf. This is the hottie black, okay? And this is one of our scarves. We have a whole lot of scarves, sis. We have a whole lot of scarves. You better make sure you check us out. Buy a scarf or two. Support a sister. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my water. This is hot water. Make sure the water is really nice and hot. That way you can seal those ends. So that's all I'm doing. Making sure you are very careful because this water is hot, 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 okay? And baby, when I tell you, these braids came all the way through. Yes, sis, I am living for this easy peasy jumbo box braids. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. Let me know if this style is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me know if you think these braids are killing it. All right. <laughs> already know i cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories so here we go i'm just gonna add these gold accessories here and there and bear bay these accessories took the braids all the way to boom, 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 100 let me know if you guys are feeling it let me know if you guys are going to be trying this let me know if you guys think this is a hot style right here because baby i am feeling myself right about now this is easy when i tell you this is one of the easiest tutorials that i've ever done you better believe me and you already know i gotta give you another way you can rock this braids right here i'm just gonna take one piece and start going round into a bun kind of situation and once i get to the end right there i'm just gonna tuck that in take my bobby pin and secure it and baby when i tell you these buns came all the way through yes sis. let me know if you guys are loving it let me know if you guys are going to be trying this guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my shine and jam my rattle comb and my rubber bands to achieve this look so what i'm going to do is i'll start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing guys and then once i'm done i'm going to section the hair into three sections so i'm going to start sectioning the first box and then i'm going to take my rubber band just to secure the hair but i'm also going to be using the same rubber band for this braids so i'm just going to section the other section as well try to make sure it's really nice and straight or whatever and then i'm going to section the second line from ear to ear in the back guys so together i have about eight sections so i'm going to have three on the top right there I'm going to section the back into two as well and take a rubber band to secure it and then i'm going to section the remaining of the hair into three pieces so i wanted to do something that is really really nice and fast that is elegant that is cute 30 minutes you are done doing this braids i'm telling you this is the easiest what tupo you always say this is easy but i'm telling you this is the easiest style that you guys can do anybody can actually do this you can do this on yourself you can also do this on your kids honey this is the easiest easiest style that you can do christmas day you are going to be looking all kinds of cute all 
right guys so once i'm done sectioning the hair i have about eight sections i'm going to be using this super tz 60 inch braiding hair and this is in color 1b i'm using two packs of this hair this is 60 inches as i said it comes three in a pack and i'm going to be using all two packs I'm just gonna take it out of the pack and then I'm taking a little piece out of the hair guys from each section I'm taking a little piece out because I wanted them to be large but not extremely large I wanted them to look really nice and neat I wanted to be able to put them up and everything like that so I'm gonna be taking a rubber band and securing the braiding hair guys just like I do with the ponytail just like I do with the scrunchie and then I'm going to be placing it on this um, holder, this hair holder. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the rubber band out and then I'm taking my shine and jump, applying it to my scalp, making sure it's really nice and clean or whatever. Once I'm done applying my shine and jump, I'm just going to make sure the hair is really nice and sleek. And then I'm going to take my rubber band to secure my hair, guys. So I'm going to section my hair into two, give it a little tug. Just make sure it's tight, but not too tight that it's going to give you guys a headache. Anyway, so once you're done tugging your hair, you're just gonna take the braiding hair that you have the rubber band on. You're going to be placing it on the other side. That way when you flip it down, it actually is covering your natural hair. Secure that on my head as well, okay? On the same, you know, very close to the other rubber band that you just did, okay? And then once you're done, you're just gonna take a little bit more shine and jam, apply it to your natural hair. That way it's really nice and sleek. When you're tucking it in, it does not show. So I'm just gonna place the hair down. You guys can see I have two strands. I'm going to be sectioning a little bit from both strands. That way I have three equal pieces, okay? Very, very easy, guys. As you guys can see, I'm not even having trouble, you know, trying to see if my hair is really nice and secure on the bottom because I already did that part. So you don't have to worry about trying to make sure it's nice and secure on the bottom. It is already doing that for you. My natural hair is going to be tucked in with the middle strand, guys, okay? Move the braiding hair a little back, just exactly the way I'm doing, and then start braiding down. Tuck in your hair with the middle strand and start braiding down, sis. Exactly the way I'm doing. Make sure your hair is tucked in with the middle strand. That way it's easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy when you are trying to braid it down, okay? Very, very easy, very beginner friendly. I mean, anybody can actually do this. If you were not able to braid by yourself all this time, all these techniques that I've shown you, if you were not able to do it, and if you don't have time to sit down for like an hour or two, this is the perfect style that you guys can do. You better get into it. Get into it. Get into it. Ah, get into it. <laughs> you guys already know when I'm this hype, it means the style is what? It's easy. Just doing a basic, basic, you know, under braid. Okay, so this is what I like doing. When I do an under braid, it does lay better. But if you can't do an under braid, you can do an over braid. Why am I still talking, sis? Have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes! Today's shout out goes to Joyce Musungu. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, sis. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I really, really appreciate it. You are a real one today. Okay, sis. Once I'm done, you know, I'm just gonna go all the way to the end and take a little piece at the end and tie a knot, guys. That way it does not unravel. I don't have to work twice. When I'm done, I am done, okay? Anyway, guys, so I'm going to do the same on the second one and do the same exact technique, guys. So I'm just going to take the rubber band out and use my shining gem, apply it to the hair, and then making sure it's really nice and sleek or whatever. I mean, this is the easiest style that you guys can do. This is so easy, beginner friendly. If you have not been able to do braids by yourself until today, go give this a try taking my rubber band and securing my hair. And then I'm going to take the braiding hair, take a little piece out, and then use a rubber band to secure it. Flipping the hair 
on the other side that way when i flip it back it does cover my natural hair guys okay so i'm going to section my hair into two give it a little tug and then i'm going to flip my my braiding hair making sure it's nice and covering my natural hair already sectioning the hair from each strand i'm going to section a little piece that way i have three equal strands three equal pieces or whatever <laughs> going to use my middle strand to tuck my natural hair with and then i'm just going to start braiding down exactly the way i'm saying guys very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this when i tell you you better go tell your sisters make sure your cousins know about me because i want everybody in 2022 to be able to do their hair i want everybody to be looking cute honey yes send this video to everybody that you know because by 2022 i want everybody to be out here in the streets looking cute hey, hey, hey. If you did not know what to do with your hair tomorrow, honey, this is the easiest style that you can do under 30 minutes and you are out the door. Okay. I'm just going to braid the hair all the way down. If you cannot tie a little knot at the end, sis, you can actually use a rubber band just to secure the end, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to secure the end with the rubber band as well, okay? I love this hair, guys, because it is pre-stretched. This is already pre-stretched. You can just use this hair, braid it all the way down, and that's about it, okay? You know I'm super, super hype. I hope you guys have a very lovely Christmas, a nice Christmas Eve. I hope the kids are getting really nice presents this year, because who we've been through enough. I hope everybody has a very nice holiday. Merry Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas, sis, okay? I'm gonna show you guys again on the top. You're going to take the rubber band out and apply some shine and jump, making sure you're also touching the lines, you know, the sections as well. All right, so you're just gonna make sure everything is really nice and clean, nice and, you know, sleek or whatever. And then you're just going to use the rubber band to stay cured and giving yourself a little tug, making sure it's nice and tight, but not way too tight that it's giving you a headache. If you're using rubber band and it is showing a little bit, that's okay. If you're using black hair and the same type of rubber bands, it's actually not going to be bad at all. So if it's gonna show a little bit, giving you a little peekaboo, that is just fine, sis. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it too much. You are actually looking cute in the streets, okay? Making sure you're taking a little bit from both sections, making this into three eco pieces. Tucking your natural hair in with the middle part, that way it is easier for you to braid it down and your hair does not show. As you guys can see, I'm not even having trouble trying to make sure I'm gripping the roots or anything like that because the rubber band has already done that for me. Braid it all the way down and then use a rubber band or use a little knot at the end. You know, take a little section at the end and secure the bottom as well. Okay? And that's about it. Oh my gosh. When I tell you guys this is the easiest style that you guys can ever do. If you guys want some really nice hair, this is it, sis. This is it right here. I'm going to show you guys again in the bag the same same technique you're just going to take the rubber band out okay and then using some shine and gem applying it to the scalp making sure it's really nice and clean and then you're going to take a rubber band and secure the hair giving yourself a little tag that way it's really nice and sleek on the bottom and then taking the braiding hair with the rubber band on it you know I'm going to be placing the hair on the top right there And then flipping it to the back exactly the way I'm doing. That way it is actually covering my natural hair already. From each strand, I'm going to section a little piece. That way I have three equal pieces. Tucking my natural hair in with the middle piece, middle strand, and then just braid all the way down, guys. Very, very easy. I want you guys to do your sister's hair, your mama's hair. I want everybody in 2022 looking all kinds of cute, sis, okay? If I can do it, sis, you can do it too. Braid 
slide it all the way down and then that's about it and if you want you can take a little knot from the side and use that to secure it if you cannot do the knot since you can actually take another rubber band and just secure it and that's about it once i'm done you know i'm going to use my kiss edge fixer and make sure i lay this baby hers all the way down and using the brush that i got from amazon you already know what it is by now and i'm laying this baby hairs honey because listen we're about to be looking all kinds of cute and i'm just gonna be using my styling strip just to make sure everything is nice and laid and then you know me i gotta moisturize my scalp I'm using my coconut oil and my jamaican black cast oil mixture just to make sure i moisturize everything honey and then you know i gotta take my mousse and make sure everything is nice and laid all the flyaways are gone but also honey you're gonna take some scissors and make sure you cut everything out you know me i like to accessorize and make sure i take everything all the way to 100 okay so i'm just gonna be using these little gold accessories and use them where i have the little knot at the end but you can use hot water if you want sis okay and baby, when I tell you this brace came all the way through, yes, sis, I am living for this braids right here. Eight braids, and you are out the door. I am loving them. I think they are cute. Let me know if you guys think these are cute. Let me know if you guys are loving them. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot style right here. And you know me, I gotta add some styles here and there and bad, bad. These styles are coming all the way through, honey. I took the style all the way up. And I'm also adding a little more accessories because you know me, I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding more accessories, okay? And bad, bad. This style came all the way through. I am loving this style right here. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Christmas, honey, we gotta be sparkling, okay? If you do not have time, if you do not have energy to do hair, this is it right here. 30 minutes and you are done. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for sharing my videos. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are here today. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the real MVPs. Make sure you share this with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt, because sharing is caring. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.